that was gonna happen too. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're doing our monthly reset. So we're gonna do a bunch of things today to kind of get our life together for the new month. As you can see, I'm back home for spring break, so I'm not in my apartment. My room is already clean, so I didn't wanna do, well, I just slide straight to y'all's faces cause like my room is definitely not clean. Anyway, so we're gonna do a couple things today to reset for the month. We are going to update my senior year journal, which you guys already know. If you watch my videos, write about my month, recap, all the good stuff. And we're also going to clean my makeup brushes because I haven't cleaned them at all. I don't remember the last time I cleaned them. It's gross. It needs to be done. And I got some makeup shampoo, I think that's what it's called, for Christmas. And I got a little scrub thing, so we're going to clean those. I'm also going to give you guys a recap of the books I read in February and what I hope to read in March. We're also going to have some self-care later tonight, so let's get into this. I think first we're going to clean the makeup brushes because I think that will take the longest to do because they need to dry and all that stuff. So we got my cutesy little bag of brushes and everything in here. Okay, so we are in. Okay, y'all, I am breaking out in a rash. I don't know what's going on. That's so fun. Anyway, that's concerning. That's another day's problem. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, which will gently rub with fingers. So what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of soak this in warm water and then... You know what I think I'm supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to close this up, but I like this thing. But I can't because we don't have the thing for it. So... What So for this portion of the video, I was going to go over some of the books I read in March. Why do I keep saying March? I went through a major book slump in March. Why do I keep saying March? I went through a major book slump in February and it sucked. It sucked. So I started off, I'm not going to go into too much details about the first four books I read this month because I kind of already explained them in another video, which was reading romance books for a week. So if you want to know how I feel like deep thoughts on these books, go check that out. First book I read in February was If He Had Been With Me and I heard a lot of hype about this book and honestly it was very underwhelming. Like yeah, it was sad at the end and like, it was just like, I don't know what the hype is. I think I gave this like originally like four just because of how the ending felt to me in the moment. And the more I thought about it, I was like, this is three for me. Maybe. I felt like the whole book was very build up and in like the last 10 pages, so much shit happened. And I was like, what? Like literally all in the last like 10 pages up. Didn't really understand the hype about this one. But I know a lot of people love it. And that's all I'm gonna say about that one. I don't have this one with me, but I read Archer's Voice. I liked that one too. It wasn't anything like super like one of the best books ever, but it was cute. I think I gave that one a four stars. Again, if you want more detail about these books, Go check out my video because I don't think y'all want to hear me explain about it all over again. I read Yours Truly and- No wait. I read- I read Bride by Allie Hazelwood. Her new release came out in February and I read that one. And I actually very much enjoyed that one a lot. Although the only reason I didn't give it- I think I gave it four stars but- And I know everyone's talked about this but the whole like nodding thing with the werewolf made me want to gag. Yeah, I actually did gag. I know that's what like werewolves, not werewolves, I know it's like wolves and what animals do when they mate. It was gross to me. I'm sorry, but it was my first Allie Hazelwood book and I did really enjoy it. Like the whole book I enjoyed except for the not part. And if you haven't read it and you do read it, you'll know what I mean. Uh, it gave me the ick and I know it gave so many other people the ick too. The next book I read was Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. Don't know where the right. This was a cute read. I did enjoy it. I loved the banter between the two main characters a lot. Very quick romance read if you're looking for that. I think I gave this one four stars. Wait, technically the first book I finished in February was Iron Flame. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. Iron Flame, the second book in the Fourth Wing series, I finished in the beginning of February. It was definitely a lot slower than Fourth Wing in my opinion, but it was still pretty good. Left on the cliffhanger. Don't know when the third one's gonna come out, but I, pro I plan on reading it. I gave it four stars. Do enjoy the series so far, so we'll see how that goes. But the book I am currently reading, the book, I don't think it put me in a slump. I think I was put in a slump because I read four romance books in one week. And then I have like, school and midterms and just had a lot going on to the point where like whenever I did have free time, I honestly didn't want to read. I didn't want to do anything. I had been reading Air of Fire for like two and a half weeks, which is very unlike me to take this long to finish a book. That's when I knew I was like, okay, like I am in a major slump. And what's crazy is I have been home for not even 48 hours. 
spring break. I haven't had any homework, no work, nothing, no assignments, nothing. I've been in the beginning part of this book for like two weeks and I read over 150 pages yesterday and now I only have a little bit over 100 left which is crazy because it had been taking me so long and it's not because of the book itself, it's just because I've been under a lot of stress and I haven't been able to read and it's been a lot. But now that I don't have any like responsibilities this week, I am flying through this and it is so good. So far, loving it, I... Mm. Another book I plan on reading, I think after this one, I'm gonna read it on my Kindle and that is The Bromance Club and about a group of husbands who's trying to rebuild their marriage and so they start a husband's romance book club where they read romance books together and kind of see like how they should be treating their wives and like how they feel appreciated and that kind of stuff. I just thought it'd be a cute romance book to read after this. I'm, I'm gonna read that probably in the next day or two. And then after that, this is, this is for a book club I'm in. This is The Butcher and the Blackbird. And I wasn't going to read this, but then I saw it at Barnes yesterday and I was like, I should just I should just get it. I should just read it. And I'm going to read the back. It says, Every serial killer needs a friend. Every game must have a winner. When a chance encounter sparks an unlikely bond between rival murderers alone and Rowan, they find something elusive. The friendship of two like-minded pitch black souls who just happen to tweet killing other serial killers. From small town West Virginia to upscale California and from downtown Boston to rural Texas, the two hunters collide in an annual game of blood and suffering. One that pits them against the most dangerous monsters in the country, but as the friendship develops into something more, the restless ghosts left in their wake are only a few steps behind, ready to claim more than just their newfound love. Can Rowan and Salone dig themselves out of a game of graves, or have they finally met their match? Sounds dark. And I was gonna originally just start it after Air of Fire, but I was like, it sounds like there's gonna be a lot of killing in this, and there's already some violence in this, so I need to read a cute little romance in between that. The next book I'm hoping to read this month is a self-help book, which I haven't read in a long time. And this one's called The Defining Decade and Why Your 20s Matter and How to Make the Most of Them Now. I've been struggling with this mindset for a while. Like the last month or two, probably longer than that. And I randomly was in my closet, well not randomly, I was in there looking for something. And I came across this and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about this book. And I feel like that was just like a sign that I need to read it because I have been in my head about like how I should be spending my 20s. So I was like, wait, thank you God. He was like, here read this and of course i'm hoping to read more books i also want to reread the next book in this series which again it's just hard like right now i'm out of school for a week so i don't really have any responsibilities but like i know like when i go back it's going to be probably harder for me to read so not trying to make a huge tbr this month just keeping it simple like okay so we did our march why do i keep saying march we did our february wrap up and our march tbr i don't know why i can't think straight right now i think now we're gonna do our little journaling thing Okay, so I'm outside on my back porch because it feels nice out. And since seasonal depression is kicking my ass, we're gonna sit outside and journal. I was about to write March recap. Hello girl, it is February recap. Okay, so I just got one picture. The picture's so funny. We paid $20 for this guy to draw us and it was... It was great. And I'm just gonna use this one picture to kind of figure out where to write my words because I usually put one picture here and then like a couple down here. I'll put one on this side, but I don't really want to print everything out yet. So I'm just gonna kind of, wherever I want the picture on this, I'm just gonna put right here so I know like where to write my words and where to stop and all that. Obviously, like where there's, I'm gonna put picture here, picture here, picture here, picture here, picture here. So on this page, I do the November goal, not November, do my February goal recap and then do an overview. So this one, I kind of just check off the goals I completed this month. And then the next page is like the overview. So like, like that page it would look like something like this. And then after that, I will do my March goals and I'm gonna come back and like talk about those goals more in depth. I finished the outline of it. Same picture I've been using this whole time. I'm gonna go over this with pen and color it in and like color this part in. And tubers I watch a lot. I'm rewatching Vampire Diaries, of course, giving it five stars. I'm like not even halfway through this show and I'm giving it three so far. It's just not entertaining. Okay, so we're done with our February recap. We started at like 1.30, it's now 2.30. It's two about an hour, but it felt way longer. We're going to do some goal setting for March. And something I've been really focusing on this year is like not 
giving myself such huge goals. And this is from the book Atomic Habits, but rather creating habits that help me reach my goals. Like I want to be more toned for summer. I don't want to say work on getting toned. I want to say continue my workout split every week, continue to drink water, just like the habit stacking that it takes to create my ideal, to get to my ideal goal basically. I think what I'm going to do actually is just write down all my goals and then explain them afterwards. Finished writing down my goals and I usually don't overwhelm myself with this many goals in one month because I just know that it's, it's not good to overwhelm yourself because it can feel like a lot. It's just not good. I have like 10 goals, which I like to limit it to like five main goals, but I feel like all of these are stuff I want to start doing. So like I mentioned before, all of these are just like goals I have. And in the back of my mind, I've already created like habits that I'm going to embed in my everyday life to help me reach these goals. For example, first thing on my list is stay consistent 75 hard. I've created systems to help me stick with this. So I have a complete like workout plan when my leg day is upper body cardio rest days all that i make it a goal to drink at least two of my stanleys a day i read at least 10 pages of a book every day except like you know like creating systems that help you reach these goals the next one i have is continue to study hard so like this one like i have to study i always devote 20 minutes take a break for two minutes study for another 20 i stay ahead on all my work i reach out to teachers if i have questions just always doing the best to study hard save money so by this i'm like putting x amount of money into my savings every time my check comes less time on social media I can do this by focusing more on editing my, on my YouTube channel, and reading and just spending time with friends and family. Work on my relationship with God. So doing that Bible app every morning, studying. I got this more time outside. To since it is getting warmer out, I want to definitely spend more time outside because my seasonal depression is kicking in. Oh my God. Limit fast food, I feel like Limit fast food, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Don't overwhelm myself, so don't put so much pressure on myself to upload a video every five days, being ahead on schoolwork, reading X amount of books each month. Like I don't wanna, I wanna make sure I'm not overwhelming myself. I wanna make sure I'm not overwhelming myself too much. And last thing is be present. I think by being off social media and just really having this in the back of my mind that like, be where your feet are. I love that quote. Just reminding me myself of that and just focusing on being in the present moment, worrying about the past, not worrying about the future, just because I really was stressing about my future, like what I'm doing after graduation. I'm going to try and be more present and enjoy my senior year. But we got our March goals done. So not everything we wanted to get done in this journal done for the day. I'm really trying to finish this book by the end of the day. So I think I'm going to go read for a little bit and we're going to do some self-care later tonight. So I will see you guys then. It's 9.45, a little while later. It is self-care time, my favorite thing ever. And if you guys watch my videos, you know one of my first things I do every, every, every self-care video, we take a bath. So that's what we're gonna do. And then afterwards we're gonna do some skincare because I don't have a face mask. I was like, ooh, let me do a face mask, but I don't have one. We're just gonna take our makeup off after this and do our skincare and read because reading is self-care. I also, finished this like a couple hours ago and wow wow it's so good get four stars so good why is that all i can say about it right now and now we're gonna read the bromance club on my cutesy little kindle and i'm probably gonna start this after the bath because i'm terrified of dropping this in the bathtub let's take our bath and have a little self-care because it's it's so good to have self-care right before the month starts the month already started i don't know why i'm saying that it's so good it's so, it's so good to have self-care multiple times throughout the month, but especially in the beginning, so you set the tone for the month. Like it's scorching up in this bitch. Okay, I have my hair like in this clip and it just looks stupid, I feel like. I'm gonna take our makeup off and then I'm gonna do my skincare and then I'm gonna read for a little bit. Also my makeup wipes make my eyes bloodshot. That's why they're gonna get watery and red. No other reason. I haven't had like a breakout in a while. And then she came along the other day and I was like, Ugh. honestly like haven't been doing my skincare in weeks, which explains why my skin is starting to break out. So I'm also about to be on my period. So my skin is screaming for me to take care of her now. Mm -hmm. I look crazy. I'm gonna take my hair out, go get some stuff together downstairs and then I come up here and read. I read a couple of English. I read a couple of 
read a couple chapters of The Bromance Club and I'm really liking it so far. I heard it's a very quick paced read which I really, really wanted. That's the kind of book I'm looking for right now. But I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm probably going to go to bed now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry the lighting is so yellow. Why is that? Why are we yellow? Because the only light on right now is that lamp. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.